Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about the subject of is ignorance bliss? Well, you often hear that expression and they say that people who are ignorant or even if you look at, for example, sometimes uh, a dog, cat or whatever, it's just kind of like blissfully playing in nature and not worried about other things. You say, oh, being ignorant about things is kind of blissful. But is it really true? I'm not really sure about that. The thing is, is that, of course, the more knowledge you have, the more you realize how the world works. And the more you realize how the world works, the more you see uh, things that are not exactly right, not exactly the way that things should be. Because obviously, there's a lot of wrong in this world, but there's also a lot of good. And I do think that there is some truth to that ignorance thing where... Even if you're not ignorant, but the fact of not having to think too much makes it much easier for someone to actually be able to be happy because, well, you're just basically in the present moment. So, is it really the fact of being ignorant or is it more the fact of being able to shut your brain from certain things? And I think that's where I believe is really the power in this. You can be intelligent, you can know things, but you have to be able to learn how to shut your brain off. They do say that a lot of people who are extremely intelligent can't do that. And that's why they tend to have things such as depression and they have uh, multiple problems in life where they're just thinking too much, they can't go to sleep, Uh, they get angry for things. Um, But I do think that at the same time, if you meditate, if you practice self-discipline, if you um, just understand that some things cannot be changed, it's kind of like someone who has dementia or Alzheimer's and just get mad at them because they can't uh, remember the things that you tell them and they keep on asking your name over and over again. But getting mad at them getting angry at them for something well it's not going to change that thing it's not going to change the fact that they're going to forget these things so being mad at it is not going to change the world same as being uh, ignorant at stuff because you want to be blissful is not going to make the world a better place it might make you somewhat happier I guess but is it really because you don't know things that basically life is going going to be uh, better I'm not sure I think that it's best to try to find bliss within whatever you have whatever you have to give in this world whatever you have in your life because we always seek like other people that can kind of like give us blissfulness such as friendships such as uh, finding entertainment a lot of people sometimes they go and they do things such as jumping out of planes and parachutes and uh, bungee jumping and all that stuff because they want to find that bliss and even some other people they go and uh, they do recreational drugs and all that stuff because they might have some sort of unhappiness in them and yeah of course if you're taking drugs Well, during the time that you're taking those drugs, no matter how much people say that makes you more creative and blah, 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 I think that really what it does is it makes you get into a a state of uh, being more dumb, basically, (laughs) because there's just too much of one sort of chemical uh, being created uh, in, in exaggeration in your brain. And then basically your brain can only react to certain things, so you're able to shut other things out it's kind of like people who are savants or that that have basically just certain parts of their brain that are actually functioning to 100 percent and the other ones are functioning to to 200 percent basically so the parts that are functioning actually at less than 100 percent are not uh as in tune with their body so we really need to be basically more harmonious you know too much of one thing is always going to lead to bad, right? So too much bliss is going to be bad at the same time. So the thing is, 
is no matter if you're ignorant, no matter if you're uh, very knowledgeable about all these things, if you're super smart or just normal or, hey, if you decide you're dumb, you're dumb. But I don't think that uh, there's a lot of people who are dumb. They just think differently. Uh, and then maybe people just don't understand that. But I really don't think that ignorance is going to give you bliss. It's going to give you basically less stuff to worry about. But I think that if you are able to um, harness whatever you know, your knowledge, and be able to shut down the brain when it needs to shut down, when it needs to go to sleep, when it needs to uh, just relax, you know? Basically, that's, that's kind of like my point is that maybe at some point um, your blissfulness will come from relaxation, from the fact that you are able to know the things but also be in that moment because no matter what happened in your past or what you think is going to happen in your future the past is the past the future hasn't been written and the present well that's all you got so just be happy that you're alive and try not to be ignorant ignorance is not good anyways have a great day and i'll talk to you soon